During Flat Earth discussions, one recommendation I make often is to buy a telescope with an equatorial mount and use it to track the sun from sunrise to sunset using a single axis of rotation. In reality, we can do that all over the Earth any day of the year just by setting up the equatorial mount correctly. Now, that creates a big problem for the flat Earth because the only place you could do that with a single axis of rotation is at the North Pole. From any other position on a flat Earth, with the Sun doing circles above that Earth, you cannot track the Sun using a single axis of rotation. So the fact that we can do that with a real telescope with an equatorial mount proves that the Earth is not flat and the Sun is not doing circles above that flat Earth. Now, if you were to buy a telescope like that, it's going to cost about $300. When you set it up correctly for your latitude, you can easily follow the Sun from sunrise to sunset. If you wanted to spend more money, go to a dedicated shop. This is the um, Astro Shop in Australia. You can spend over $2,000 just on a precision equatorial mount. Now I realize that's unrealistic for most people and, and certainly I don't think I would spend $2,000 just for the sake of flat earth experiments. So I just set myself a little project today to see if I could produce a workable equatorial mount for under $100 and I certainly achieved that. I bought this um, tripod for $20 in a camera store and I picked up this child's toy in a local store and the part I'm using is just this front wheel assembly. And with the addition of a bit of uh, sticky tape and double-sided tape, I've been able to produce a very effective equatorial mount system for under $40. And it works very well. Now, I'm not going to go into the geometry of how it works now. I'll leave that for a separate video. But uh, what I've done is I've aligned it to 34 degrees, which is the latitude of Sydney. And what we can then do with the camera is we could track the sun from sunrise to sunset perfectly just using this one axis of rotation, which as I said is impossible on a flat earth with the sun doing circles above the flat earth. Now the beauty of having this camera mount is we can adjust the angle. Different seasons, different times of the year will require that angle to be slightly different and yet we're still able to track the sun using this one axis of rotation, okay? In the uh, December solstice in Sydney, the camera is going to be something like that. And again, we can track the position of the sun using a single axis of rotation. Now, it's a very valuable piece of equipment in demonstrating this because adjusting this camera angle also explains why between September and March, the sun is setting south of due west and rising south of due east. Similarly, between March and September, this also demonstrates very clearly why the sun is setting north of due west and rising north of due east. And the other thing we can do, as I said, I'll, I'll do more videos on this in, in greater detail, but when that camera is aligned perfectly, even if we were to change the latitude just by doing that, it's still going to show us an effective demonstration of why the sun rises at 090 and sets at 270 all over the earth on the equinox. And the other thing I'm planning to do is just to use a small laser pointer like this, and uh, I've got to get another mount. I'm going to mount that to the, uh, to the assembly in a way that I can adjust for the different seasons as well. And that's going to allow us to accurately model the path of the sun for any time of the year and for any location on Earth. So, as I said, for under $40, you don't have to spend thousands of dollars on a high-quality telescope. This is a $20 tripod and a part from a $15 child's toy. And we've got a working equatorial mount system. So, uh, yeah, as I said, I'll, I'll prepare some more videos just... Um, showing how that does actually track the sun and, and how we can actually predict the sun's path just using a little projection like that. But uh, yeah, very easy to do. Absolutely no excuse why people can't just go and do that themselves. That literally took me about 15 minutes to make, just buying the parts, 
and just using a bit of uh, tape to affix the part there and we've got a working equatorial mount.